Die skrif is aan die muur. Die nationale vervolgingsgezag het twee staatsanklaars aangesteld om samen met Sandral te werk. Hulle moet bepaal of sommige motoristische optrede een oortreding van die Sandral wet is. Motoriste soos Karin Swanepoel word oorval die rekeningen. Dit, samen met die rekeningen van haar manse kurieronderneming, beloop meer dan 80.000 rand per maand. Um, daar is een procureursfirma wat het duidelijk in die, in die media gestel het, dat hulle die eerste mensen wat vervolg sal word, gratis sal verteenwoordig. So, hier is ons, um, ons wacht. These are the arguments that have to be heard. The rationality of the system, the fact that the, the public were not consulted meaningfully, the fact that they did not consider the alternatives, the fact that the minister did not consider all the costs. We've got all these arguments from our previous case, which unfortunately was set aside due to a technicality administration law, which doesn't apply in criminal law. Maar die vervolgingsgezag hou voet by stuk. Our mandate only, and until the, the, this particular section has been amended or repealed, until that happens, we shall continue to enforce it if there's evidence that supports that this particular section has been violated. We do not go and investigate it, but Sandal, if they come to us and they say, here is evidence that a, a motorist A or road user A has violated this section, and we believe that there is evidence to support the claim, we have the responsibility and legal obligation to prosecute those individuals. In this sense, Justice Project SA, the Vervolgingsgezag's youngest strategy, is geen verrassing nie. Want Sandral's bemarkingsstrategie was nog heel tyd op vrees gerig dier mense te dreig met rechtstappe en kriminele rekords. Volgens die organisatie gaan meer as een miljoen mense vervolg moet word en twee reeds oorbeleide staatsaanklaars gaan nie die maas opkom nie.